Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Xbox Informer 360 and today I am doing doing a sort of room tour of my bedroom, uh more specifically a desk tour of my computer desk that's in my bedroom. So, uh but I'll show you everything else as well. So, right here in front of me, uh oh, and also, I'm sorry I haven't put a video up for a couple of weeks and a half, two weeks and a half. Uh I've been kind of busy with uh, with a paper and, and stuff, math stuff, uh, so, and I do have finals coming up, but uh, I'm still going to have time for this video. But uh, there will be, I'm going to try to do at least one video every week, at least once a week uh, for you guys, so um, if not, then, uh, you know, just think that, that I'm busy, so, but I'll try. Okay, what what you have in front of me right here is a Winnie the Pooh clock that I got a uh, really long time ago, really long time ago, uh, probably about you know fifteen or more years ago that I got this. Uh, I don't know exactly when it, I was so little, but I'll just move on. But I was just showing you that. Uh, here's just another clock that uh, not specifically mine, but uh, just another clock. Uh, okay, I'll show you my shelf, uh, shelf up here, all around the room, and these are like, I don't know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm having like a brain, you know, moment I can't think of, uh, camels, camels, uh, but yeah, those are just like wooden camels, uh, and then these are boxes for some of my electronics, and a little, little collectible cup there I got from the movie theater for the Three Stooges, a couple of boxes for this uh, Blu-ray uh, disc writer, uh, rewriter, and a box for a, a hard drive, portable hard drive, uh, and then my router, box for my router, a little like a pink elephant that I got a really long time ago, and a few other things here and collectible cup for the Spider-Man movie. So. Um, and then his another here's another shelf, kind of messy. It's probably probably should be organized, but uh, anyway, I did organize it a little bit, but it's still a little bit could be organized better. But here's a whole bunch of CDs and stuff, you know, software, a few manuals and you know cases for for a phone, uh, other manuals and and magazines and stuff. So that's really all that's there. Uh, there's a little rooster there, <laughs> and over there is uh, three clowns. I, I don't know who made them or, or what, but uh, they're old too. And uh, But I'll start right here. Okay, this is uh, an HP PhotoSmart. Uh, it's like an uh, e-printer thing, so you can do like, it'll print over Wi-Fi and stuff, so you can connect it to computers or as many computers as you have in the house that are connected to a network. Uh, you can connect it over Wi-Fi, and and then um, even if you there's even an app for uh, uh, iOS devices. I'm not sure about Android, but I would think so as well, where you can print uh, using a using the device, so like an iPhone or iPad. And uh, here is my PS Vita in this sort of like pouch. It's not really a case, but it's more of like a pouch kind of thing that it slips into. Uh, I'm not going to really open it up and show you because um, I'm assuming you all know what a PS Vita looks like. And here is a, a Mario sort of sleeve uh, that zips up and closes. And it, uh, I actually got this from Club Nintendo. And inside is my 3DS, my blue, uh, aqua blue 3DS. So that's what's in there. And this is a uh, camera, of, I think a 14 megapixel. Uh, it's uh, it's not a Norcent, but uh, this is from my old camera that I that I sold to a friend. But uh, yeah, the camera it's a Casio um, XeLim, I think. I have the box. I'll show you that again because I know I showed you that really quick, but I didn't explain. Yeah, my Casio right here, um, XeLim EXCS10 or 10 or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that. And this right here is is like a any room DVR from Comcast that I really never use. So um, and it costs like eight extra dollars a month. So 
probably going to go ahead and get rid of this box, you know, pretty soon or something cuz I never really never really use it. I usually watch TV down in my uh in my game room or my man cave or whatever that I have another video of. And this is an Acer monitor. Uh it's a P yeah, P215H model. Uh, LCD 21.5 inches, I think, uh, and it's a 1080p, full 1080p. So yeah, that's that monitor. Um, this right here is a little uh, sort of knickknack that I got at the thrift store, at a thrift store, and it's uh, it's like a few dozen pennies all in this um, sort of half globe kind of thing. It's kind of interesting how they how they actually got them in there like that. But yeah, it's. Uh, you know, I just thought, thought I'd show you that. And, of course, a little stapler and my iPod Touch that I won in the giveaway. Uh, you can all see that video. Just go to my channel. And, uh, of course, I have it laying on this um, microfiber cloth So, because I don't have a case for it yet. And I do know that the aluminum back can is it, it can get scratches, you know, fairly easy so that's why I did that and uh, here is a Sony 3D display that uh, I think came out last year but uh, yeah it has in built-in speakers that I never use I, I did use them but uh, they're really crappy quality so yeah this is a 24 inch 1080p display and it can do um, 3D uh, so yeah and it did come with glasses, but I, I really never utilized the 3D, though. I've, I've done it a couple of times, but not on a regular basis. And this right here is a Dell, um, just a standard Dell keyboard that's wired. Nothing fancy. Uh, and a standard Dell mouse that's also an optical mouse that's also wired. But, but it works. I may, I may um, upgrade to a better, better keyboard and mouse in the future, but I'm happy with, with what I got, you know now and this is a uh, PlayStation of course you all know what this is a uh, DualShock uh, 3 PlayStation 3 controller so and I have it connected to my PC here my custom built PC which this is uh, an Antec case I don't know which uh, model number and I have a DVD DVD writer there and a Blu-ray an LG Blu-ray that was that box that I showed you in the beginning of the video uh, and this is the inside of the case. Uh, there's a, I'll tell you the specs. It's a AX1200 uh, Corsair uh, power supply, 1200 watt right there. Uh, and a Zotac uh, GTX GeForce uh, 5, 580, 580. Um, so that's, that's what that is. And uh, it's a three gigabyte card. Uh, and the there the motherboard is a uh, Asus um can't remember exactly it's a Z68 chipset though uh and it does have you know you know pretty much all the latest features other than you know that it's not the you know the Z77 the newer one the newer chipset but uh and then I have a I think an H40 or something uh Corsair uh liquid CPU cooler there and a radiator and uh, the CPU is a uh, Core i7 Intel Core i7 2600 it's not the K version so I can't really overclock it I've actually tried and uh, the <clears throat> the system was not very stable when when it even though it was able to overclock it slightly the system was a lot you know not that very stable so I I keep it at clock speeds at the core um, stock clock speeds. So yeah, that's uh, and for the hard drives, I have a 120 gigabyte Corsair. Um, can't remember the exactly the the model name for it, but it's a it's a Corsair 120 gigabyte SSD. Uh, and for the hard drive, for the actual you know HDD is a Seagate, I believe, I don't know the model number, but it's uh, 1.5 terabyte uh, at 7200 RPM. So yeah, so that is, that's my custom built machine right there that I 
we'll probably add on to in the future, but just don't have the money right now. So, and then a modem, Comcast, uh, Aris or Aris or however you say it, modem that I uh, I know they have the newer ones. I'm gonna see if I can get get one, get this one taken and a new one put in when I when I have that box removed. So um, up here I have a external uh, Seagate expansion drive. You also saw the box for that in the very beginning. And it's a 2 terabyte. Uh, it's a USB 2.0, so it's not 3.0, but it's it still works. And of course, I have it connected to my router, which is a Cisco Linksys E4200, the dual band in router. So it, it uh, it's a pretty good router. I know they have the newer AC uh, Wi-Fi, the new um, AC CM1. But uh, this is fine for now, and AC is not really perfected or even out there yet. So I'll probably wait a, a good three or four years, even depending on on different factors. You know, if I'm going to upgrade or not. But uh, yeah, I have this connected, and I use it as sort of a, like a media sort of storage for for media. So like you know, music and things, and then I can stream it on my TV and stuff. And this is a Seagate, uh, also Seagate, and I showed you the box for that. It's a Go GoFlex desk, and it's a one terabyte. I know that they do have the newer, slimmer one terabyte drives. This is USB 3.0, and it is connected to my custom build. So that's about that. And uh, this is like a little stand here with uh, drawers. And I just have cables and, you know, chargers and stuff in there. And, of course, clock and uh, VTech thing. Nothing exciting there. And that's really about it for this, for the room. It's not, not like, it's not that much stuff compared to my, my game room that I have in the other video. But it's, uh, I think it's a pretty good setup. I am going to add on in the future. I don't know how soon that'll be because I really, really don't have the money right now. But, uh, yeah, that's all for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my setup, my desk setup, and I'm going to be calling this desk tour or desk setup or whatever, because it just would sound awkward for a bedroom setup, and it is mainly my desk anyway that I was showing you. So uh, that's really it for this video, and uh, if you can, subscribe if you haven't already, and, you know, help a brother out, and that's really, really all I have to say. Thanks.